go unchecked. Uh, and Absolutely. it has to, it, we, we have to, we have to keep the message alive. We have to keep it going. Uh, yeah. Right. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was, I was, we'll, we'll catch back up on that after the side of this. We are going to see Pandarian versus AIV. I can Pokemon trainer, uh, of course, illusion Pandarian as well. Recently picking up a uh, Gabriel. So really fun team there. Yeah, actually, Illusions has uh, been pretty prominent in like the the uh, I believe it's the the PA area. The, they ha they've always had people like Juice Beast, uh, if I remember correctly. A lot of uh, like good players around that way. They're recently picking up Raffi. Uh, they just want to get all the robs apparently, but now picking up Pandarian, who's another phenom in his own right. Uh, you you want to be able to pick up those good talent, and Pandarian has shown time and time again uh, since really the especially with the swap to the Pokemon trainer in this game, uh, right. really been able to take off. Yeah, we'll see how this kind of goes here. It looks like AIV not super afraid of playing against them by any stretch. You saw him mm -hmm. kind of walk up around that crawl that Pandarian was going for and didn't really have any sort of fear to it, right? And so it's kind of curious because both Ike and PT are both fairly, still fairly solid on, uh, on Wi-Fi, I would say. Yeah, um, I'll, it, like it's, it's hard enough to react to like the, the, the mix-up game on uh, players like uh, Pokemon Trainer to begin with. But what Ike has to establish is he has to make sure that you are fearful of like bad defensive options. You gotta be able to catch people off guard with those nears. You gotta be able to catch people with well, well, like the missed spot dodges to get those uh, f tilt reads. But it's hard to do against Pokemon Trainer because they have that extra option in the Pokemon Switch and how right. mobile they are, especially with like Squirtle. But I like how Pandarian's just going for a zoning game instead and just getting that tick damage because I can't really do so much against zoning without committing. Yeah, and we actually haven't really seen Abby get any of those airstreams yet, so that's something he's going to have to really piece together. He's been close a few times, but just hasn't really gotten that, uh, that initial hitbox. It's a bit F-tilt, though. Yeah, exactly. Now, the good thing that goes for Ike... Oh, you know what? That was that was so far out of range, range that I got hit, too. Like, that's just one of those spots you put yourself in and dig don't, uh, so low. You don't think you get caught, get caught by that vine whip through the stage. Yeah, and especially because, like, that kind of fell out of flavor a little bit for the PTs as well. Because, like, I know in the early meta, you saw that all the time with Ivy at the ledge. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, it's it's now back into, like, that mix-up pocket. So it's really good for all the PTs out there to have that. Clearly, Pandarian, very comfortable. There's that switch and that frame yep. one invisibility on that. Exactly what I was pointing out before, because one of the things that Ike has going for him so well is being able to go for nares and up airs and such, or going for the 50-50 mix-up game from the air dodge reads just like that, right on cue. Uh, but the key factor is if you can't get that as easy when it's out of uh, kill range, you're going to get caught and get up attack, wake up DP looking. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep it clean. <laughs> it's just throwing out that up smash. It's so good at the ledge and great DI once again from Pandarian, keeping the stock that going that much longer. Yeah, there's been a couple times now where I'm just like, ah, oh, this is it. And he's just like, oh, no, no, no. I got another like 20, 30 percent of me. And you got to be careful, too, when you're at the ledge like that, because Charizard can also snipe some stock. We were talking about the kill power of Ike. That is no way, shape, or form going with uh, on Charizard, too. But there you go. Not a true string, but you're still able to get the follow-up on that big body frame and kind of delayed it, too, just in case there was a swap in the squirtle. See the squirtle come back out of the corner here. Gonna get the armor. No, actually, doesn't get hit by Blue Pits, though. So it does give up a little bit of positioning there, but both these players are pretty patient right now. You don't really see either of them try to push stage control at the moment. As I say that, Pandaria just rushes AIV in the corner. That was also a good situational awareness on Pandarian for that ether because if you uh, if you uh -oh. DI in the correct way immediately after the ether, you actually won't get hit by the follow up with the small body character. So uh, most of the time, people will just take that twenty percent for free. Oh, the benefit of being able to switch your switch your hurt, hurt box sizes. I wish. As an Ike player, I wish. But, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? AIV is doing the best they can because the, the main key fact is you want to try and get these. You want to try and get that ledge trap damage. You want to try and keep it simple. But Pandaria has just been playing so well on the evasion aspect of it. But also, just not over utilizing the defensive habits. You do not want to like expend your your air dodges or stuff way too much against Ike or you die. But it doesn't matter because you're gonna get caught on the jump. Pandaria taking game one. Yeah, I mean, what started as like a decent shot for AIV on that first stock really just, I mean, set Pandarian into his really just neutral phase where he took that initial stock and it was just so hard for AIV to find that in that first kill on Zari. Yeah, it's you. You have to you have to dig deep, even as a even with the kill power of Ike. Uh, did just with the fact that um, AIV was going mostly for back airs at the ledge, uh, it started to stale out a little bit. So it allowed Pandarian to get some good DI. Granted, hard enough to DI on that. That is frame seven. It's pretty quick. Uh, but the kill power Ike is so strong. The fact that it, Pandarian is even able to stay alive is a testament to like his reaction to begin with. Sure. 
as a as a predominantly I player, you know, what do you what do you look for uh, when you're trying to play against a PT like Pandarian right now? So one of the hardest things about playing this matchup particularly is uh, not just the small body character, like the body frames of like Squirtle, but the evasiveness, like I was mentioning before, the real uh, slippery nature out of Ivysaur. I don't think Pokemon Stadium is the best stage for that matchup because you have to commit so much harder. You don't get to just go for near mix-ups uh, within a character length. You got to do it about two and a half character lengths away. So I think that uh, Pandarian probably bans a smaller stage, but AIV has to find uh less room for him to work with so you could get something like a smashville or a triplat to try and make this matchup work c and D no okay i did not all right so i didn't get the right call now don't don't get me wrong it's not like this is a bad stage for ike in general uh i just personally think just you watch watch what's gonna happen pandarian's gonna get all this damage and then pandarian once it uh, feels uncomfortable at all is going to reset and get like a few character lengths away like what does ike do now when you get when you get boxed out like this i mean yeah that's kind of the difficult thing we saw in the first game where like andy and the, oh my god AIV initially had some early success, but then just kind of got locked down by Pandarian. Mm -hmm. And now you don't even get the initial success, you just get locked down. Oh, that was beautiful. Pandarian baited the idea of going for the double jump to get the top of Ether, And he already saw that uh, AIV went for the air dodge to ledge the past few times. So it's like, okay, definitely going to do it again, right? So that time going and read the jump off the ledge, get the vine whip. It's it's such a scary spot. And I mean, even even now, like, it's not, those, the generic stirring is not quite there. And Darian really just bottomed you right outside the threat range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? You see how exactly, like, staying at full length with Fair, Ike can't react with something fast enough outside of, like, maybe Quick Draw, which you get 7% on. And that, if that was Sweet Spot, might have killed. I thought that was going to be up there that high, too. Oh, actually, I like that Nair, too, because you possibly get the Shield Poke. No! Oh, <laughs> God. What? No. Hey, I mean, what happened, bro? And you le they lean back. They lean back, they get back with it. They're not going to catch him. Reading the rolls, Pandarian. Uh, AIV looking for something here, but the thing is, like, it, we kind of we saw this out of Avenue in the last game, too. Uh, AIV it hasn't really, like, respected on Charizard, particularly the double oh. But you get some charity here, possibly. Maybe yeah, the first yeah, donation of the night yet. Yeah. You're not coming back from that. <laughs> All right, so somebody's got to match that donation. Par Pandarian dropping one for uh, A AIV right there. Now, somebody drop some money into the chat. Remember, we are here for a charity stream. We want to make sure that we're showing some support to the Black Lives Matter movement. And right now, we're looking to get some money continuing past what yesterday. But here we go. AIV actually showing some signs of life. And, and they're all upstage. Okay. All right. But still, it's chilling. Honestly, I think that was the best idea. Oh, no. Woo! Okay. All right. I like the idea. It didn't work out, but I love the idea. Mm -hmm. And yeah. unfortunately, now you got to get down past IV. Yeah, that see, that's this is where that's where I can make make his best success. If you have somebody fearing the next option, not where they at, are at right now. That di oh. was so juicy and so helpful. It was like Pandarian, Pandarian, look, I care about you. I care about you, real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bake you a cake full of this di, and I'm gonna hand it right over to you because I want you to have this W. Thank you so much. So AIV unfortunately is gonna go down 2-0. Uh, Pandarian just putting in uh, amazing work. That matchup very difficult. But, yeah, uh, AI, AIV donating a stock back with that DI. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. a couple of times. We, it's a couple of times we got it. I saw him get hit by that razor leaf, uh, razor leaf vine whip, and just yep. yikes. Yeah, it's it, that, and that's rough too because uh, a lot of characters uh, don't really have the opportunity to react fast enough or do something with that uh, that side B pressure. Ooh, I already see the numbers went up. Apparently, we missed some, some donations. We are we missed, up missed to hundred, missed hundred somewhere. We are up to twenty one sixty four on the donations. Thank you so much. I don't know who did that. Hopefully, I could get an update in the uh, in the commentators chat on Discord. But uh, I, I want to keep up to date with these as much as possible. So whoever dropped that donation, thank you so much for donating to the fight for your rights as we talked about before the whole reason for this uh is to support black lives matter and bros i don't know if you want to go ahead and go through the funds that we're actually putting this towards yeah i mean you see it right there above the donation bar you have the george floyd funds you have the bail funds you have the minnesota healing justice network and i mean all of these are so important right now uh we talked about it in the previous break about how you see so many of these people protesting right now, trying to assemble, trying to, you know, really speak up for the some of them for the first time and getting shut down and getting getting arrested in the in the in the ideals of 
you know, maintaining the peace. And, you know, these bail funds are, are very important right now. There's a lot of people that are missing work to go and, and protest right now, and they don't have the funds to get themselves out. So, you know, being able to provide that safety net saying, you can go and express your right without fear of, uh, without fear of like, refusal, without fear of, uh, of personal loss. You know, that's mm -hmm. an important thing. And, you know, if you want to bring up the Minnesota Healing Justice Network, you were talking about that earlier too. Yeah, the, that's uh, another one of the donations we're going to. 25% of these proteins are going straight to the first responders. But we're getting right into this next match, not waiting, missing a single beat. We got Louis Money, who's actually playing Palatina. This is the first time I've actually seen this out of Louis. Uh, oh, and I, don't I don't think we're you know seeing. It, but... I don't know if you know it, Ajax, but Louis Money has constantly has cargo shorts on. I'm talking pockets for days. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Actually, that was smooth. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> now, Argeo, I actually haven't seen before. Uh, Bowser definitely one of the characters who doesn't want to be fighting against Palatina on FD for sure. Because uh, the conversion is too so smooth. Yeah, what, I mean, one of the good things that Argeo has at least is that the kill power is always going to be there if you get a good jump read. But right. you, you don't really have anywhere to land. And, right. and, that, and that's the hard part. You have to commit to either get, uh, making them guess on the down air. Uh, doesn't oh. even matter. They'll get to get caught at the ledge. Louis not dropping that conversion straight to the back here. Yeah, Argyle's got to find his way around this a little bit. More. Now you're just stuck into the upper loops as well. Good air dots down, but still going to get covered by the faster follower and Palo. Yeah, that was a great frame trap right there. And I like the I like the delay on the down air, but you got to be careful with doing it too much. That's really the hard part about this matchup. Louis doesn't need oh. to commit. Force them to go low, go for the down tilt again, try to cover the back air. Not any, is he actually faked it out to make it look like the back air was going to come? So, Louis playing perfectly yeah. right now. The back air not going to kill, but, I mean, what do you do? Hey, right. get up attack, finally. I mean, at this point, you're, you're playing rock, paper, scissors at the ledge for Palo, and she can cover two options at once. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there with both hands, got the rock and the paper out, and you're just like, wait, what? Yeah, and that actually sucks for Argyle a second ago. I actually had the jump read. There you go, finally getting the fear that time. Ajax, uh, brother, what? you're killing me. It's Argyle. It's like it's like a claw pattern. Oh, I'm so I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an Argyle. It's like an Argyle print. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta inform me on these things right away. I'm trying. <laughs> I, I, said, I said it, and I was like, oh, man. oh, oh, oh. But pick, oh. But pick it up, pick it up, Louis Money, pick it up, Steam right now with three stuff. The, the, the only designer money we want is the Louis money. Right now, Louis right. money dropping off the the hottest work we've seen so far already, and we are only in the match number two. Louis showing off that this Palatina puts in that good work. We've already seen Louis. It's uh, kind of crazy, Fox. Right? So Fox, Mario, Doctor Mario, yeah, Alu. Now I'm sure I'm sure we've seen a ton of others. This is a man I don't want to play in this place, right? Nah. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely one of the like top 10 players in the world that you do not want to be seeing on the other side of the screen uh, in Squad Strike. Now, I think... How do you, how'd you say it again? Argyle? Argyle. Argyle. Okay. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying Argyle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. Sorry. That's right. No, it's all yeah. good. Argyle. You, you got Argyle sweaters. You got Argyle prints. Okay. Okay. Just exposing how bad I am with fashion and stuff. That's all. That's the only things I see are like on Instagram with all the, 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 the all the other stuff. Uh, anyways, but um, I'm, I'm sure if you Google it, you'd be like, oh, I know. What, I, I, know I actually, I'm like 90% sure I've probably seen it before. But um, I think Argyle. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a checker print. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wow, actually, damn, I feel stupid. All right, I, I, I like the fact that Argyle actually stuck with the Bowser in terms of it seems like. Argyle was just missing a beat. Like, it was just, like, just a hair behind, and I think maybe the switch to, uh, to Battlefield might help because uh, the FD pick definitely was not it. No, I mean, now... But, like, now the problem is, like, the plats that you have and you're trying to use against Palu, she and, more importantly, Louie Money are going to be able to use them against you just as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not, uh, this is definitely a great stage for uh, for Louie as well, like, no, without missing a beat. But you get a little bit more... Uh, oh, never mind. No survivability matters right there when you're going to get caught at the ledge by the F smash. There was no jump either. Uh, and now we, Louis with a 20, like just 20% on the first stop. This is what you want against Bowser. You want to be able to trade. You want to be able to swing without fear. Yeah, and you see him like going for those down air reads again and again. Like, Louis is, I mean, the man constantly plays in his bag, but he is firmly in his bag right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, you gotta be feeling good when you get mixes like this. Like, not even just to consistently talk about uh, Louis here, but it's just refusing to let Argyle actually play the game. There's a Nair you have to be forced to up B early, probably. Oh, you actually had a jump. I didn't even realize he still had a jump. Yeah, I mean, it may seem like we're talking about Louis, but Louis's the only one playing right now. That's that one player game nature of playing Palo to the, at that level. Your other yeah. opponent eventually gets to get down. 
Oh, look at that. Like, at the ledge, in disadvantage with back up against the wall. Empty jumping to just go for the back throw. Louis might get punished here. Yeah, there we go. Down there, but not enough to do it just yet. And you see Argyle going through these kind of a little obvious options, and Louis yep. jumped over that a couple times, so gets the back throw there. See if he can repeat himself and get another three stock here in game two. Mm -hmm. No, just like there that. Yeah, there you go. Finally mixing it up, going for the, like uh, uh, something you see a lot of uh, a lot of players uh, early on, especially is they like to go for that stutter step back and forth. Louis Aww. looking for the double dip. <laughs> I mean, hey, Ben and Jerry's has been an ally all the way through, so we want that extra ice cream scoop right now. Bro, we always support Ben and Jerry's in this household. Oh, you <laughs> Louis wanted. Louis wants that dip so bad. Here we go. Argyle's got to be careful. Uh, you know what? Actually, I like the idea of going for that air dodge there, but just keep yourself safe. It's been a couple, times, a couple times in a row that he's gone for it, though. He's careful. I mean, I, I, at this point, I, like, I, I don't like to normally write things off. I, I, like, it is Bowser. You, you are a shield break away on a new stock of possibly stealing a game, but you've got to end it, like, right now. He's like, so you have to end it at, like, 62. I don't know how that upper missed and somehow, like, he still survived from it. And then down there from the heavens, too. Okay. Ooh, all ooh, right. Okay. All right. All right. Again. Again, this is it's Bowser. And Bowser's dead. All right. <laughs> it looked like he might have been able to DI that, but it's still think, back here from Paladin like 175. So. I'll give Argyle credit. That was definitely supposed to be a DI mix-up right there. Like, Louis intentionally crossed up to the left to get it so it looked like it might go for a fair or maybe right. an up air. But Argyle's already holding in, almost living on.